Hello everyone, my name is Ebaldon and welcome to another video. The zombie apocalypse has arrived again, but this time with a twist. Welcome to Dread Down, an open world survival game that mixes the best elements of State of Decay, Dead Rising and Dead Island 2 into a one action packed experience. If you are looking for a fresh take on battling the undead, Dread Down might just be the perfect game for you. Dread Down is developed by independent Chinese studio Kayup, or Cube, I don't know. And it's already making waves with its ongoing Steam demo. The game takes place in a quarantined city where the majority of the population has been turned into a brain eating freaks by a mysterious virus. You play as a student who missed the evacuation convoy and is now left behind, trying to survive with other classmates and survivors. Your home base? A school turned fortress. Your enemies, hordes of relentless zombies. In Dread Down, you're dropped into an open world, with locations like subway stations, hospitals, schools, and prisons ripe for exploration. But there's a danger at every turn single zombies are easy to handle, but a full horde can overwhelm you in seconds. You'll need to scavenge for essential resources, medicine, food, weapons to boost your chance of survival. Every trip outside the safety of your school could be your last. But those resources are crucial to fortifying your base and keeping the zombies out. Your base is your lifeline. As you progress, you'll upgrade the school defenses, adding fortifications, setting up traps, and even turning it into a mini farm to grow food. Whether it's raising chickens or harvesting crops, every bit helps when you are trying to stay alive. But the longer you survive, the bigger the threat becomes. More zombies will come knocking on your door, the defending the base becomes more intense with each passing day. The combat in Dread Down is fast, frenetic and brutal. You'll fight off zombies using everything from melee weapons or to firearms, being constantly on the move is key, stand still for too long and you're a snack. Luckily, you're not alone, you'll have allies who provide much needed backup in combat, you can trade with them for valuable resources and work together to defend your home base. So, what makes Dread Down different from other zombie games? It's a perfect blend of genres, it combines the open world exploration and survival mechanics of State Decay and the massive zombie hordes of Dead Rising and the RPG elements and visceral combat of Dead Island 2. Plus, the bird's eye view perspective brings a fresh take on the genre. Dread Down isn't just about mindless zombie killing, it's about strategy, resource management, and the constant tension of knowing one wrong move could be your last. Since the Dread Down demo launched during Steam Next Fest, it's been making waves in the gaming community. With over 361,000 views on YouTube and almost 50,000 followers on Steam, it's clear that the players are excited about this fresh take on the zombie apocalypse. And the best part, you can try the demo right now on Steam before the full release in 2024. The developers at Kayup, or Coop, again, are hard at work fine-tuning the game for its 2024 release. Expect even more updates like new locations, weapons and maybe even multiplayer support in the future. With its unique mashup of gameplay mechanic, Dread Down is shaping up to be a must-play for fans of the zombie genre. So if you're ready to dive into intense zombie-filled open world, Dread Down is a game for you. Don't forget to wishlist it on Steam, try out the demo and stay tuned for more updates as we get closer to its release. Thank you for watching and remember survival isn't just about fighting, it's about outsmarting the apocalypse. Stay safe gamers, my name is Abulna, until the next video, peace.